Good morning, guys. I am Metaphysical Mike. I am sending you so much love and so much light on this empowering community. We're all about expansion on the mind, body, soul, taking you guys to a whole new level of peace, joy, happiness. The world right now and the planet needs to hear this message. You are doing the absolute best in this present moment. You're doing everything you can possibly do and you are more than enough. Your presence, your light is so powerful. I'm so proud of you and you need to understand that you're doing the best you can in this moment and you're enough and you're not perfect and you've made mistakes along the way and you've screwed up and you've done things not of the greatest good but you deserve to be here. You deserve to be here. You are good enough. You are lovable. And you're going to get through this. You're going to get through this challenging period. You're going to overcome all adversities and all the challenges that are in your way. The archangels, your guides, your teachers, they are going to remove all obstacles so you can soar and fly to your destiny because you were brought here for a purpose. You're here to be free. You're here to love yourself, to honor yourself, to kiss yourself, to hug yourself, and to realize that you're enough in this moment. Regardless if you have no money to your name, you're homeless, you have ADD, you have addictions, you don't, you, you don't know how to love yourself. You're holding on to regret from your past. You are enough in this moment. And you matter. And your presence matters. And your words matter. And what you say matters and has a ripple effect that can transcend space and time in this 3D dimension. You are enough. And you matter. And you're such a wonderful person. If you could see the light in your soul... If you could see just how truly amazing you are underneath the muck and the illusion of what you think you are, that your ego says you got to be perfect, but you're already enough because you're a beautiful co-creator here to be free, to be yourself, to be liberated from your fears and your anxieties and your self and beliefs that say you're not good enough. You are enough. You're loved by the universe. Source unconditionally loves you just the way you are in this moment. And I love you. And I'm so proud of you making it this far. I'm so proud of you not giving up. And I'm so proud of you just not throwing in the towel and continuing on your path regardless of how rough this year has been. And you've done everything. And you should be so proud of yourself. Love yourself because you're such, you're all such beautiful souls. You all have such gifts, and you have such wisdom. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of each and every one of you, and I'm so honored to know you. And you've you've been through such hell, <laughs> and you've made it out the other side, and you've been tested in these months, in these years, and you're alive, and you're good enough in this moment. And I'm so so proud of you. And I'm honored to know you. And I want to let you know that no matter what you're going through, this too shall pass. If it's drug addictions, if it's relationship issues, if it's feelings that say I'm not good enough, you are here to live your life, to be yourself. And fuck what the ego thinks because that is not who you are. I'm being my true authentic self. I don't cry a lot on camera, but quite frankly, I don't give a fuck because I got to speak from my heart because I want to help people and I want to guide people and I want to be that beacon when those are lost in the dark who feel afraid and can't see a way out. I want to be that beacon to help people and to guide people and to show people that they're capable of anything they can ever imagine in their mind. And you matter. And your presence matters. And the world needs to hear what you have to say. The world needs to know that you are here for a purpose. And I love you so much. And I'm so proud of you. And you know, during those times in your life when it was so dark and you wanted to give up and quit and you said, I can't find a way out. There's everything's just dark. But you didn't give up. You kept going. And you said, you know what? I'm going to just soar. And I'm going to trust my higher self and my guides. And no matter what the world looks like or the past life trauma or my childhood issues, you kept going. And you kept believing yourself. And you kept believing in something 
that you couldn't even see with your own two eyes and you are enough and you matter in this moment. And I'm so proud of you and you, you've done such beautiful things and you've been through such storms and clouds and hurricanes and it's felt like hell for weeks and months and you've done so much clearing and you know how much balls it takes to just you know go through these heavy clearings and phases and face your shadow self and love yourself and hug yourself and accept your childhood memories and to just acknowledge who you are and to just say I'm enough in this moment and to love yourself and to honor your sacred light and to not beat yourself up and to say that you are exactly where you're supposed to be and that you matter and that you have a voice that needs to be heard and you can make a difference in millions of lives all over the world. No matter if your ego says, how am I ever gonna make it? I've had fear, I've had stage fright, I couldn't even talk to my ex, I couldn't even talk to my parents. But you have this flame inside of your soul that said, I'm here for a reason. The universe only picks the strongest souls and light workers to be part of this shift in consciousness. And you deserve to be here. You're worthy of being alive. You're worthy of experiencing this physical 3D world to taste, to touch, to feel, to sing, to dance, to laugh, to have the lows, to have the highs, to have the, be in duality and know the contrast of what you don't want so then you can appreciate when what you do want manifests from the quantum realm into physical reality. And I want to give you this message of it's a go sign to go to its the angels are saying green light right now to go for what you want. And that I'm so proud of you. And I'm so honored to know you. And it's so wonderful to have you on this journey. And I want to thank you guys for always just tuning into my live streams and taking time, your precious and valuable energy and time to watch my live streams and to tune in. Because I want to help people soar. I want to help people out of the dark. I want to help people into the light. I want to bring people into the, into the, make this world ablaze with joy, peace, trust, and faith, and greater love, because this is my purpose. I want to help people. I want to guide people back into the light. I want to show people that there's a way that you don't have to suffer and be in pain and be alone, that you can actually be happy, that you can actually be reborn, that you can actually be the phoenix rising from the ashes, and you can love yourself. And you can really, really, I'm not talking about that conceited love of, oh, I got a big ego. I'm talking about the real self-love that none of us were taught at an early age. We were always taught to do things for others. But what about us? What about our sacred energy? What about our essence of who we are? And I really want to help people and guide people and give people a message of hope and faith. And if you're watching this video... I have to say this, that if you're watching this video, this is a clear confirmation that you're going to make it, that you're going to overcome all adversity and all opposing forces, and you're going to shine, and you're going to be such a bright light for the entire planet. Lisa Magan, thank you anytime. Amber, I found you in Victor Odo's YouTube comment, comment section. I was like, metaphysical Mike, what a cool name. Thank you, Amber McClear. I really appreciate that. Heidi Lynn, yes, 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 do inner, yes, do inner child. If people catch your lives, then they're important messages for them. Thank you guys so much. Amen, Mike. We're all here for a purpose. I don't believe in any accidents. I don't believe in coincidences. I know that we're here for a reason. We're here to learn to love ourselves and to honor ourselves and to be who we are and to shed tears and to cry and to just love ourselves and to love that inner child and to love that aspect that says you're not good enough and to fully love who you are and to not care what other people think of you and to ball, ball your eyes out and to make a scene and fuck up and screw up and land on your ass. We're not here to be perfect. We're here to be our true authentic selves. And I want to help people and I want to guide people through the light and I want to give people a message, a message of hope a message of light, a message of you will overcome all opposing forces, that you're so much stronger than you think, than your mind keeps telling you you're not going to make it. You just won't make it. That's bullshit. That's distorted fragments of your reality. The ego wants to survive. It only thinks about itself. Me, 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 me. You know, it's like that little child that one, you know, the little child that's a brat that wants the whole world. Mike, we should do a Zoom together. Yes, Heidi Lynn, definitely. I'll probably cry my eyes out the whole time. <laughs> 
but this is what it's like being empathic. And, you know, empathy, a lot of people think, oh, empathy, oh, it's a curse. You know, it's like you feel the energy, but it's beautiful to be able to feel everything and to, you know, be empathic. It's not a curse. It's a superpower to feel, to tap into others' emotions, to the world, and to help the entire planet soar. I want to help people. I intend to guide people. I entire, I entire, we are light here. We are light here, baby. I can feel your energy. Thank you, Heidi Lynn. I hope you guys are feeling my authentic light, my truth, and my compassion, and my strength that I'm sending to you, even if it's not conscious. My ears are ringing good. That means that your angels are present and near, and you know that there's no need to fear because divine love is here. And I want to guide people. I want to help people. And, you know, no matter if some people don't understand some of the things I'm saying and I'm really out there, I'm speaking my truth and I'm being myself. And I challenge you guys to hug yourself, to really tap into who you are, to do that shadow work, to do that, you know, that work. Because I have done so much fucking shadow work over the last several weeks. I mean, from EFT tapping to meditating to journaling to hypnotherapy. I mean, everything you could even imagine on the planet I have done to love myself more and to honor myself. And I'm not telling you this to say, hey, look at me. I'm telling you that you deserve to have self-love, to have abundance, to have money, to have wealth, to have prosperity, to have health, to be wealthy, to be peaceful, to feel safe, to feel secure in your body, to love your body. To do, do a career or do something that's so rewarding to your soul, to your core that says, yes, fuck it. I love that. Lisa Magan says, I too love being empathic. Yes, I feel exactly. It is a gift and a blessing. It is a gifting to feel others because also being empathic means you're psychic, you're intuitive, and especially if you're a water sign, if you're a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, we really tap into other dimensions and realms and people's energies and we're all here for a purpose and I want to let you guys know that you're so powerful that you're so strong that you're so courageous and that this is the time for you to shine your light this is the time for your authentic authentic mask to be put on most of your life you've worn a very outdated mask and it reminds me of going back to Ancient Kemet, Greece, in the theater, you know, they used to wear masks, the facade, but that's what it's about. It's about taking off that old Michael Myers mask, you know, that like that old version of you and taking it off and showing the world who you are. Heidi Lynn says, oh yeah, speak it, love bug. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Diane Andrew. I appreciate you, thank you for tuning in. Diane, how you doing? Linda, I'm an air sign, but I feel all this too. Yeah, air signs are also stuck in their head. They overanalyze a lot. Heidi says, oh, speak your truth, love. Thank you, Jade White, I appreciate you. I'm an empath, I am such a child of, I am a, I, wait, give me a second. Jason Beard says, I'm an empath. I am such a child of the moon, like my God is my love. <laughs> Jason, that's fantastic, my brother. You know, you are a child of God and you are God, goddess, energy, source in a physical avatar and you are all here to be yourselves and don't be afraid to you know be angry be frustrated be mad be afraid these are natural emotions to feel being a human but learn to express yourself in healthier ways instead of you know get angry i used to take my anger out on people i used to throw shit i used to break trophies and smash my window and you know kick holes you know, in walls and curse off people and put people down. But I realized that you have to channel this anger into more of a healthy and productive way. And that's why when I'm angry, I usually do um, EFT, what is it? Emotional freedom technique tapping, or I journal, or I do Honopono. Because I think Honopono, this Hawaiian chant, is a really powerful technique to clear our old debris that no longer serves us and I think this is probably the most powerful time to be alive in history. Yes, there's a lot of darkness. Yes, there's a lot of shadow work. Yes, there's a lot of people out there that are like, oh my God, like, what am I going to do? I'm going crazy. Jade White, Vanessa, Seen Honey, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. Suzanne, Suzanne, I hope you're doing well. Charlie, thank you for tuning in. I see you, Charlie. 
I'm Libra on cusp. Jade White says, I'm Libra on cusp of Scorpio. Anything for me. Ah, Libra, you got that balance and you got that Scorpio that just like stabs. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Exactly. I'm telling you, the Hono Pono, it works. It's powerful. And it does such wonders. And I am so thankful and grateful to be able to express myself on this community and for everyone who's been on this journey, thank you guys who are new. Thank you from the beginning. Thank you for the first people who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you for the people who've been following me since I've done the weather. I mean, originally I was going to be a meteorologist and, you know, I had a spiritual awakening. I had health, mental health issues, physical health issues. I was dizzy, lightheaded, couldn't even go up the stairs without being out of breath. And then that led to my awakening. And then I started to see pyramids in, you know, Egypt. And then I started to go deep. I dove deep down the rabbit hole. I saw things you couldn't even fucking begin to process from a logical perspective of the analytical brain. I'm a Libra also, but no Scorpio. Linda Leals, as a Libra, balance and harmony are very very important to you you believe in justice and you believe that there should be truth and that there should be harmony in the cosmos you don't like fighting you absolutely hate fighting and bickering and arguments but this message is to you to me to all of us in the universe dude i don't even know how we even connected laugh out loud let me see but i know your path that is mine too thank you suzanne delaney says Pisces here. I'm more numb than anything else at the moment, but I know that I am close to losing my soulmate due to the virus. Wow. Suzanne Delaney, I'm really, really sorry to hear that. I send you my love, my light. I don't know what it's like to be in your shoes, but as in, you know, being empathic, I can imagine how difficult that is. And I send you strength and I want to let you know that, you know, this difficult time shall pass. And Christopher says, dude, you know what I'm going to say. Keep rocking that message. Oh, thank you, Christopher Johnson. I, uh, I really appreciate you. Chris, if you guys don't know, Christopher Johnson has been following my path since I was a weatherman. Well, I wasn't actually a weatherman, but I had a Facebook weather group. I had 17. I left behind 17,000 members of my weather group to pursue my spiritual path. A lot of people said, you're, you're crazy. You're fucking nuts. You've gone delusional. You're working with the devil, yada, yada, yada. But I said, I don't care. I'm following my path. I'm doing what I love, and I'm helping people one soul at a time. Mike, let's do the power of eight. I don't know what the power of eight actually is, to be honest with you, Heidi Lynn. I'm not sure what power of eight is, but... Anyway, yeah, I was originally going to be a chief meteorologist and, you know, I had like my own, you know, radar and stuff and it's amazing. You're a blushed young man. Thank you. I don't feel young in the slightest though. To be honest with you, I feel like, well, I'm 22 years old, but I feel like from a, a phys my physical avatar is 22 years old, but my soul and my inner being feels 300,000 years old. Like everything from the beginning of history, it's like it all... I remember it all the beginning of history and everything. Uh, Yesha Perez. I hope I said your name right. We knew that from the beginning, so it is what it is. Yes. I always knew, deep in my soul, from a very early age, that I wasn't of this world and that I didn't really belong here. Well, not that I didn't belong here, that I was meant to do something bigger with my life. I always knew deep inside that I was here to cultivate change and to help people and guide people. But you know, then my fears and I was on medication and then I was numb, I was depressed and then I was really anxious and I couldn't really feel anything and then I got bullied and then I had self and beliefs that said you're never gonna make it and then I had adversity, then I lost my grandma to cancer, then I lost my grandpa to cancer, then you know, all this different stuff just happened and then I had an ex who abused me physically, she punched me in my leg and you know, I just went through a lot of different lessons and adversities like all of us do and I'm not afraid to admit it. You're being your true self, following your truth path. That's admirable. And you got mad respect for me, dude. Thank you so much. Rina, all 22. I have been here for here for going on 56 years. Basically, eight people get together. Get together and to do heal that needs healing. Heidi Lynn, let's do that in a different time. I definitely don't have the energy to do the healing right now. Nicole Rochester, are you from uh, are you from Rochester, New York, by the way? That would be fucking hilarious if you were. Lee Miller is replying to Christopher Johnson, says amen. Let me see if I missed anyone's comments at all. Uh, we have Pat. Oh, Pat, how you doing? Wait, i got to turn the camera around again. Pat says, ba ba ba, you are an old soul. Oh, yeah, I'm ancient, baby. I go back to ancient Kemet, Greece. I go back all the way to the beginning of time. 
Not today, laugh out loud. Yeah, definitely sometime in the future, but we're entering a very critical point in our awakening, and I think a lot of people, I bet you guys are having breakthroughs today. I bet you today, if you haven't had a breakthrough yet, you're about to experience a major breakthrough, my guides tell me, in the next few days. It's the planets, it's Jupiter, conjunct it's Jupiter which is in Capricorn, making a conjunction to... Pluto, which is in Capricorn, and that's really going to give you like this, this boost. And, you know, we have moons in Gemini today, so we're all about communication, which is, today is really good for communication. Plus, Mercury is out of shadow. It's still in Pisces, which is unfortunate because, you know, we're still not clear on our communication. But moving forward, you know, Mars is leaving. What is it? Mars is going, Mars is going into Aquarius basically today, and that's going to help us feel more sociable. You know, Mars has been Capricorn, work, work, work. So we're definitely going to feel not as in our, our work mode. Thank God Mars is leaving Capricorn because I've, I've been, I felt like a workaholic like the last six weeks. Linda Lyle says, I have chills all over. Good. That's a good thing. You have chills. Remember that game? It was like X marks, X marks the spot. Here comes the question mark. The breeze. Now you got the, now you got the, now you got the chills. Do you guys remember that at all? It was like we're going on a treasure hunt, na 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 na, and then you basically you drew on your you drew on your back, you know, like an X, and you said we're going on a treasure hunt. X marks the spot, you know. Uh, I did that when I was young. Casey Mundell, how you doing? You know, Casey Mundell, you remind me of Howie Mandel. I don't know. I'm thinking of Deal or No Deal right now. You know, angels. What is in case number twenty-four? Cosmic universal energy. Oh, energy. Oh, what a ten grand. <laughs> You know, but I hope you all are enjoying this live stream. I hope you all are experiencing major, 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 major breakthroughs. If you've experienced a major breakthrough today, comment down below yes. I want to see how many people are really feeling this. Thank you for the peace that I feel when I listen to you. Oh, Suzanne, I'm so grateful and happy to hear you say that. Lynn Jessica, how are you doing, my dear? You are always so on point with what I'm going through. It's very neat and exciting. Awesome. Denise Latour, how are you doing with these energies, huh? Weird time to be alive, that's for sure. Boy, look, I thought 2020 was going to be light. I mean, like, light, light, light. You know, like, I, I, I thought, you know, 2020 was going to be on the lighter side. I thought it was going to be smooth sailing. I did not think it was going to be this type of ep ep pandemic. I personally thought 2020 there would be a world more um, like a, a, a catastrophic with regards to like a weather event. I saw something globally, of, you know, on, a, on like a, a weather scale that would globally affect everyone. So I was wrong, but you know, let's see. Yeah, I've been wearing the Jason Voorhees drowning in the water, and I will punish you with, with uh, extreme prejudice if I feel attacked. Mac, no longer needed. I want to display love for myself. Yes, exactly. For my example, instead of the cold, dead hockey player, lap, my shadow self is a vengeful spirit. Jason Beard, I really appreciate you being so authentic and sharing your truth on here. You know, a lot of people don't have the balls and, uh, you know, courage to speak their truth. Jason Beard, you are so loved by source, my brother. And I want to let you guys know that you're loved. And, you know, no matter what your ego tells you, well, you're not going to make it. You're not good enough. Blah, 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 blah. That's a bunch of bullshit. It's distorted fragments of your reality. The ego's main job is survival, you know, because tens of thousands of years ago, you had a saber-toothed tiger that was chasing you. You needed to stay alive. So, of course, then you had the cortisol. Then you had the fight-or-flight response and the brainstem and the amygdala, which, fired, which basically fired different neurons in the brain so you could be on flight mode. But we don't need to be on flight mode right now. We need to be on ignite mode. Instead of being in fight or flight, we need to be in an ignite mode. Instead of the fight or flight mode, be in the ignite mode of your soul. Ignite the flame and let it ablaze the entire cosmos and realize that you are worthy and you deserve to be here. If the universe didn't want you, you wouldn't be alive right now in this moment. The universe ain't through with your cosmic ass yet. I hate to burst your bubbles, Bob, but the universe is not through with your cosmic ass yet. It ain't over. You know, you're like, oh, how do you know things are going to turn around? Look at the outer world. Look at the messes. Look at the heavy energy. This is just the first inning. We still have eight more innings to go, baby. Actually, it's like endless because we're eternal. You know, these physical bodies are temporary, but we're spirits and we're eternal. And we've always existed in the universe. You know, we're not, it's not, we're, we're all, we're always evolving 
growing and expanding and that's what we're here to do to grow to expand to move to the next level to basically feel the love in our heart to move into these newer ways of enlightenment i call it like being so conscious aware i feel you good awesome but anyway guys i'm going to end this live stream i'm going to do more tapping because i have some more i have some more releasing to do i hope you guys enjoyed this live stream I want to thank you all for tuning in. I just posted on my other page, Minutes Breaking Through the Darkness, and felt today is the day breakthrough, and here you are confirming it. <laughs> Lynn, Jessica, that makes my day. Remember, guys, don't give up. I know right now it looks dark. It looks stormy. You're, you know, there, there, there's, a, there's a fight between the ego that wants to say, oh, my God, what about my, what about my needs? I got to stay safe. And then there's the soul that says, put my hand on my heart. You're all good. You're trusting. You're loving. All is well. Have a wonderful day, Mike. Thank you, Linda Laws. If this live stream resonated with you, please share this on all your spiritual Facebook groups. Please share it on your timeline. Please tag any friends, family members, coworkers who resonate with this type of information. I wanted to come on here to be real, to be authentic, and to give you guys hope and faith on your spiritual awakening journey. And I wish you all an absolutely fantastic day. And thank you for tuning in to your higher self. Thank you guys for not giving up. Thank you guys for continuing this path, even though it's not easy in the slightest. But spirit guides are surrounding you. I love you. Squidward loves you. SpongeBob loves you. Mr. Krabs loves you. And everyone basically loves you. Just tap into your heart and know that all is well. All is well. And surrender and allow. Don't beat yourself up if you're emotional wreck. Don't beat yourself up if you feel the feel, if you're afraid, if you have the highs and the lows. Do You're doing the best you can. I'm sure as hell doing the best I am. I'm, I'm, I'm not perfect. I've had my moments where I'm like, oh my God, how am I going to make it? And how can I get to the day? But I'm simply allowing and to know that there is a light at the end of this tunnel, the darkness. That's what Spirit wants me to end this with. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and it's here and it's all about knowing deep inside that you are safe, protected, guided in love. Source unconditionally loves you. Regardless if you've made mistakes, what you've done in your past, the universe and source energy unconditionally loves you and we're grounding you into earth. I'm putting you all in a sacred ball of energy where there's no negativity, no old energy can harm you. Your friends and family are all protected. Thank you for inspiring me. You're welcome. Thank you, Jason Beard. I love your uh, Facebook profile picture, by the way. You have like the bunny ears <laughs> and the nose, and it's like, what's up, doc? You know, bird rabbit season, duck season. <laughs> light will come on again. Exactly. The light will come on again. We're, 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 we're pulling through the storm, baby. I'll tell you what, we are definitely through the end of this crazy, uh, we're, we're not at the end yet. I would say that, you know, the most heaviest energy we've been through is over pretty much. But right now I see definitely more of dips. So we're, we're still adjusting, kind of like we're adjusting like a wave or a person who hasn't had caffeine and then they recalibrate to have caffeine and their body handles it all differently. So that's what I have to say that, you know, the worst of the heaviness of the energy piling up is over. That was the last 8 to 12 weeks, but we will still have, you know, dips and everything. That's kind of like a bell curve, but we're readjusting to all these energies, and we're all in this together, and we're all doing the best we can in this moment, and that's more than enough, and I want to thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the 31 people who are watching this live stream. I really hope this inspired you. If this video deeply inspired you and motivated you and encouraged you, please comment down below. Share with all of us. Raven, what's going on? Yo, Raven Hatter, we're ready to get some Harry Potter. We're going to go get the, what is it called? Raven doll? Uh, it's, uh, oh, Lord. What are the different Harry Potter? There's Gryffindor. What is it? The Ravenclaw? What the fuck am I talking about? Ravenclaw? Gryffindor? I don't know. I haven't watched Harry Potter in the longest time. And there's Hogwarts. You can call me Rabbit. It's my nickname and spirit animal. <laughs> Rabbit. Oh, God. I love you so much. I shared, and yes, it did, Mike. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you for tuning in. Listen, I gratefully appreciate you tuning into this live stream and watching this, but it's more important and essential at this time on your awakening path for you to tune into your heart. 
for you to tune into your higher self. I appreciate you watching this video and tuning in, but do me a favor, tune into your inner GPS system and follow your heart, go after your dreams. If I survive this, I will, I will, and I will, I'm coming out a new woman. Of course you will. All of us are going to make it through. Jamie Dawn says, needed to hear this. Jamie Dawn, I'm so happy and grateful to hear you say that. Jamie Dawn, you got this. Lynn Jessica, your video has always inspired me. Your energy is awesome. Thank you. Deborah, how are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate every one of you. And I'm going to go. This is where the live stream ends. But here is some cosmic flow. I got to go. We got to let that shit go. We got to tap into source energy and realize that you are in divine source in harmony. And just allow and just like the king to the kings, the kingsmen have the bow and realize that the universe is here. They, the universe won't let you down. Now turn that smile upside down. Turn that frown upside down and begin to smile and be here because the cosmic joy is going to last a while. Rainbow, other side, through the cosmic light. Things are going to be all right. Smile and be in your own light. Yeah, 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 we're gonna make it through the night. I know the darkness may be prevalent on the planet, but realize you're strong as just like just like a table, material, um, granite, to see that you are aligned with the planets and the stars, and you are gonna be your own rock star, blasting out on your own guitar, and know that you got the awesome side of you, because there's nothing in this world that you can't do. Love yourself. Honor your own being, because this is not what you think is just seeing. You have to turn on the light of your heart and realize it comes from the beginning of the start. That's the beginning. You're always winning. Yes, yes, yes. Turn on your own TV and realize you can be whatever you want to be. See yourself. See yourself flying in the air and realize the universe just don't care. Whatever you see in your mind will manifest and just realize that it's just going to be the best. The best is yet to come. The universe loves you from every corner of darkness. Realize that this is your own mist, the own mist of darkness when it seems so illusional, but sometimes in life they call you so delusional, but you have to go diving deep and realize that you're here. Shh, now make, don't make a peep because I'm about to bust out the rhyme, I'm about to bust out the poet. I know I'm a poet and I, I'm just like a cosmic poet and I didn't know it. I got some cosmic fucking light and I'm here to show it. Yo, I'm glowing. I'm glowing and I'm glow and I want to say hi to my homies and my cosmic sisters and my family and my soul family. Hi to my bros. What's going on? I got universal flow. Yo, let that shit go. Have an awesome day. I got nothing else to say. Go outside. Remember to play. Hey, I'm slaying like a dragon. And I'm about to be on like a little kid on my wagon. And I just ain't stopping dagging. And I got it all inside. And so do you. There's nothing in this universe that we can't do. <laughs> wow. Where did that come from? That was fun. Anyway, I gotta run. I gotta make some hamburger buns. Oh God, I can't stop rhyming. Oh, this is, has to do with universal timing. I'm a poet, didn't know what I got light. I'm here to show it. Oh, I'm about to gonna play it. Oh, please don't say it, spray it. Oh my God, are you about to be? Oh, oh my God, I got my iPod. I know sometimes in life we can be a little odd, but I got my cosmic squad to tune into these live streams. Everything is not what it seems to be. Did you know you got universal flow? When I gotta end the live stream, I gotta, gotta go. Hey, hey, hey. This is your day. Everything is constantly going your way. Don't give up and keep believing. Because just you don't have to see the seeing. You don't have to see it in order to believe it. No, no, no. That everything is possible. Have an awesome day. Because things are going your way. Today, 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 today. The things are going your way. Abundance is coming to you. Abundance is coming to me. Divine love and universal vibrations through all of harmony. You all are awesome and you got the big ba ba da 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 peace love light namaste I can't stay I gotta go meditate and center myself in any way peace guys.